Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix Rollbench video series. This is Tim and today I want to talk to you about one of the really exciting things with the launch of the PRISM controller for the Tetrix building system is the fact of mounting the PRISM onto some of the existing hero builds that we've created. So these are builds that you already have building and access to building instructions for and you can actually do this on your bot but our head of R&D, Paul Utley, went ahead and mounted the prism onto a Minimax. And one of the really cool things about this is this allows us to actually automate or, or make this a programmable robot. And he's using some of the existing sensors in a really cool way with some of the existing hardware to make really uh, neat behaviors that we want to actually demonstrate for you in a little bit. But I want to start by talking about how he actually had to mount the prism. So the first thing we did have to make some um, small adjustments. The normal position for the RC build of the Mini Max was the switch was mounted right over here on this side. So when we decided, or Paul decided to actually put the prism into the middle of Mini Max, uh, he decided that this made a nice uh, flat building space. So uh, we needed to actually relocate the switch from over here to here to actually make this a little bit more um, feasible as far as a mounting position. And then we added some sensors. And again, the awesome thing about this is the fact of the programming behind it, because what he really has done is he's taking the information from the ultrasonic sensor and he is combining that with information from the servo that's mounted on the head and he's created a following behavior. So what happens is, Minimax will actually begin to scan the area and as soon as something comes within a one meter, in other words, he set up a perimeter of one meter away, as soon as something breaks that barrier, then the, uh, the robot will begin to follow. And the way that they, he does that is that he takes information when he scans, he sees an object, he reads the position of the servo, and then he sends that information, applies an algorithm to it, to the motors, and he begins the following motion. Now, it doesn't follow at a meter. He just uses that at the beginning distance, but he will then follow, sometimes fairly close, and um, really kind of actually follow someone around. So that's a really cool way of using a standard sensor with other uh, hardware with the SAT and creating a cool, cool behavior. I was inspired by that to actually apply it to something uh, something different. So when I travel, I have sometimes have to take a robot with me. So I need something very uh, portable, easy to transport. So I built a very small robot. But in looking at the way Paul had coded this, I thought, you know, I could apply that to something we do in workshops, which is line following. So you'll see on this small robot, I actually have mounted a line finder sensor just on the front of a servo. And typically when we line follow, what we do is we move the whole robot back and forth as it goes down the line. But I thought, you know, if I can actually transfer that motion up here, it's a much smaller motion. I don't have to move as much mass and I can smooth out the line following process using the same idea that Paul used here. I can read information from the line, uh, the line finder sensor, read the information from the servo and actually apply an algorithm and to the, the actual motor speeds and create a much smoother line following behavior. So we're going to actually show you how that works, give you a video of them working, and then uh, we'll go ahead and come back and, and talk about it a little bit more.
So now that you've seen these robots actually in action, we hope that you will actually uh, be inspired by that uh, and either go ahead and, and take a, an existing hero build that you've already built maybe, mount Prism onto it and use some of the sensors in a really cool way and duplicate this at home or take that and build your own little robot and mount Prism onto it and maybe use that programming idea to create some really cool things. So again, we hope that you found that um, useful information. We hold you, hope you found that to be inspirational. And like we always say, go out there, build some robots, have fun, and come back and see us.